here we are in After Effects. We are going to learn how to create 3D slideshow in After Effects. So friends, today without wasting any time, we are going to go right into the After Effects. First, create a new comp, a width 800, height 800 and name it as Media 1 and click OK. Here we go. See the settings of the shape layer. Fill should be none and stroke should be 50 pixels double click on the shape layer we can we can see the shape layer created and you can type in some text on the shape layer so that it should look like a photo frame you can type any any text that you like to here we you can resize the text if you want type as kelvin text solutions as you like we duplicate the text layer by pressing ctrl plus d and drag the text down and then you can change the text to whatever you like we can type as like play or something again ctrl d to duplicate the text drag the text layer to the right corner of the frame and you can name it as 00 just to create the frame in order to see it as real real frame now you can take all the pictures that you desire drag them into the project panel and then take the first pic that you want to and drag the picture into the media layer that you created and you can resize the photo in order to set into this frame and select all the layers all the shape layer as well as text layers and right click and pre-compose them and you can call it as a frame And then create a new comp and call it as main comp keep the width as 1920 and height as 1080p in order to create a full hd frame should be 30 fps and duration should be one minute and create a new solid and call it as background and go to fx and presets column and type as gradient ramp drag and drop the gradient ramp onto the background and go to fx control and keep it as a radial ramp and you can and you can set the colors as you like onto the background here i select a dark green and the secondary color as lemon yellow now you can see the background color Go to the project panel and select all the media from 1 to 12 that we just duplicated and drag and drop them in the main comp just above the background. All the media layers here 1 to 12 frames altogether but with all the single photos as for now because we created in the media layer and duplicated them. Now as we go ahead we have to change the pictures in the media layers except media number 1 because media number 1 has got the desired picture already so we are not going to touch the first frame here we are in main comp consisting of the background layer that we already we can see the images imported here in, uh, in our project panel double click on the media 2 and drag and drop the second image that you want to have in your second frame you can resize the photo as you like now double click on the third media and select the third picture as you desire to put in the frame. You can resize the image as you like and double click on the media 4, drag and drop the image into the frame 4 and resize the image. Now if you don't find the 3D 
option here you can press on f4 or otherwise you can toggle switches below so that the 3d option can be visible and then and we select all the media and convert them to 3d accept the background layer convert all the media to 3d and then create a new camera the camera settings should be 50 mm and type of the camera should be not the one one node camera it should be two node camera you can check the settings of the camera here and then we create null object and name it as position you can duplicate the position null object or create a new null object by right clicking and rename the null object to wiggle and click on the 3d option for wiggle null object and position null object parent the camera to the position null object and the position null object to wiggle null object select wiggle null object press p to see the position settings press alt and click on stopwatch you can change the wiggle settings here you can create the wiggle position as wiggle open parenthesis you can type as wiggle open parenthesis 1.5 comma 10 close parenthesis now you can play the timeline and see the images shaking as if the handheld shake of the camera you can change one view to the two views horizontal and see two panels to your left and to your right the left side of the view is the horizontal view of the 3d space and the right side you you see the main view front view of the camera now we have come to the main main animation of our images select media one that means the frame one and drag the image to the z space by clicking on the image you can move the image to the right or to the left or to the down or up as you can see in the video select image and drag it to the z space again i select the third image and dragging it straight above right side of the first image and I select the fourth image and dragging into the Z space. Likewise, I select all the images, dragging and setting them into the Z space. I fast forward this video to cut the length of the video short. Now go to the timeline and take the playhead to the 1 second 15 frames and click on the position null layer and press P to see the position and create a keyframe and take the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and go to the position null layer and position the camera to the Z space again. I am moving my camera to the Z space, far Z space until I see no images found there. Now I select the keyframes that I created just now and right click right click on them and easy is and go to the graph editor and you see the graph like this drag the right handle of the graph to left and the left handle of the graph to far the left see my graph like this in order to create nice zoom in effect i see nice zoom out camera now close the graph editor select the second keyframe which is on the 1 second 15 frames and copy it in order to copy it Control c and then go to 30 frames forward and and paste the keyframe by pressing Control v press shift plus paste down key in order to take the playhead one click you go 10 frames and go 50 frames forward What I'm going to do is I, I go to camera settings again by flipping down and see the camera options and go to aperture and set it as 200 pixels and I see the depth of field on. I should be doing this camera settings beforehand but no issues. We face no difficulty. It's the same. Copy the keyframe by clicking Ctrl C and then go forward 30 frames and I go for the next image. I go 50 frames. I fast forward this tutorial in order to cut the length of the video short.
now select all the layers and go to the timeline and keep the playhead at the end of the at the end of the photos and trim the extra timeline by pressing alt plus flower bracket to add beauty to the 3d slideshow we can add the particles footage drag and drop from the project panel to the main comp drag the particles footage above all the photo frames press ctrl d to duplicate the particles footage and you can drag the particles footage into the rest of the timeline now drag the playhead to the corner of the timeline and trim the extra particle layer by holding alt plus flower bracket click on the toggle switches at the below and change the normal mode to the screen mode for all the particles now drag and drop the blue shimmering footage above the frames and also change it to normal to screen mode here we notice that full stretch of the timeline cannot be seen the shimmering footage it's not covering the entire timeline we need to duplicate the layers again by holding the control plus t and we can drag them to the whole timeline now select all the particles and shimmering transition layers and duplicate them in order to drag and drop them above the background layer hey thanks for watching my video please like share subscribe and comment below i'll come with a new video soon you can follow me on twitter and facebook Happy creating. Thanks for watching again.